Uh, Star Wars Where Science Meets Imagination is just that. They have taken the, the world of Star Wars and then shown its real science counterpart. So you walk into the exhibit and you see these amazing models of the Millennium Falcon and the Star Destroyer that were used in the movies. And then right next to it are models of prototypes of real deep space uh, spacecraft. Uh, things that may take us to Mars and beyond in deep space. You see Luke's land speeder, and then right next to it you see real world hovercraft. And then you see medical droids, like the kind that worked on Luke in uh, uh, Empire Strikes Back, and it's right next to a display on um, medical implants. And we look at a display of R2-D2 and C-3PO, and then right next to that is real world robots. And so we're, we're taking our inspiration from Star Wars and then channeling that into a real um, respect and appreciation for real world science. Uh, Star Wars for Science Meets Imagination is the largest collection of actual props, models, and costumes from all six Star Wars movies collected in one place. So what we've got is a piece of film history. We've got iconic costumes, we've got amazing models, we've got artwork and, and incredibly detailed props on display right now here at the Orlando Science Center. Um, it's a must for any Star Wars fan, but what's also amazing is uh, the exhibit developers have done an amazing job melding all the Star Wars uh, iconic pieces with some really exciting interactives and science learning. So it, it's one of the best science exhibits I've ever seen. In 1977, uh, they were just trying to make do as best they could, and they didn't have all the detailed models that they did progressing on the series. So they used what was at hand. And in those far-off shots where you're not where you're not seeing it. Um, uh, sitting in the land speeder, uh, Obi-Wan and, and Luke are six million dollar man dolls. And so I think it's just a, it's a nice touch to the ingenuity of uh, George Lucas and his team. And I think it's a really nostalgic shout out for those of us uh, who grew up in, in the 70s with six million dollar man action figures and uh, in, the, in the first Star Wars movie, Star Wars A New Hope. What we want at the Orlando Science Center is to inspire science learning for life. So what we want to do is get them excited about Star Wars and then channel that enthusiasm into real world science. And one way we do that is there's these amazing interactives throughout the exhibit. Build your own droid, ride a real hovercraft, um, these really fun little virtual reality displays. So in keeping with the hands-on nature of the Science Center, there's some really great hands-on science components within the exhibit.